Fuck you too! Yeah, 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 and you too. Yeah, anyway, anyway, here we go. Um, let's, we've got the band in the room. How are you doing, man? Lads? Not too bad. Kirk, how are you doing? Yeah, introduce yourself. I'm John, I'm the lead singer and rhythm guitar player. I'm Ian, I'm the bass player. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so how many's in the band? Have, is he, how many's, how many, is he all the people we're missing? Yeah, we got a four piece, but two of the other guys are a bit uh, busy today. We've got Tom Stretton from West Yorkshire on lead guitar. And our, our, we got a brand new drummer uh, called Tom Leather, who is from uh, St. Helens. He's got the coolest surname ever for a rock band. Yeah, what's his name? Tom Leather. Oh, Tom Leather, sorry. Yeah, I missed that then. It went right over my head. <laughs> <laughs> so where does the name come from? It's just one of you, isn't it? It's the the yeah, name of the band. Yeah, Ian, uh, the bass player, is called Gallagher, but uh, the name comes from uh, a pack of the cigarettes over in uh, Northern Ireland called Gallagher's Green. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, the old Gallagher's uh, Cigarette Company. They used to sell Gallagher's Deluxe Blue and Gallagher's Deluxe Green, and I used to hear people in shops ordering 10 Gallagher's Green or 20 Gallagher's Green. Like it. And I thought, I'm going to nick that someday, so I did. Yeah, great great name in the day, this day and age for, uh, for, for the... <laughs> For the world, and if whatever, man, small kid, yeah. a tobacco, yeah. tobacco, you know what I mean? So, yeah. uh, brilliant. Thank And what we'll do because this is for Dougie's Atomic Dustbin part, whatever I can't, I'm not sure yet. We're pre recording it, but at the time of recording, you've sent us a, a, a world exclusive of your track, which we played on Dougie's Atomic Dustbin part 21. And we'll play that at the end of this of this uh, thing. So, thank you very much for that. We kind of liked it, no problem. Kind of liked oh, it. Thanks. Kind of liked it. It was good. In your face. So on a short track as well, isn't it? A couple of minutes, two, just over two minutes long, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Um, we've got some songs that are like five minutes long almost, but uh, yeah, that one. Uh, that's just naturally the way it came out. We like it. We like it. Well, we'll be playing that at the end of the show. So, uh, what got you all together? How long have you been playing? Well, Ian, we've been do playing. You want to take that been, one? Yeah, we've been playing. Well, me and John have started this band in 2017. Um, and it's been through, we're on drummer number four. <laughs> well, I think we're on our third lead guitar player. Uh, but me and John actually met, was both met in Iraq, was both the armed forces. Uh, we met in Iraq in 2008 and got talking then. So the seeds of it were sown many, many years ago. Excellent. Uh, Realised that we love the same music, same kind of bands, want to play in bands. Um, and then we went off our separate ways. Um, both got in our, our separate bands, which fell apart. And then we was at a Guns N' Roses gig, Slaying Castle in 2017. And I had a chat and said, look, we should put our songs together um, and try and put our own band together. And that's when John told me the name that he wanted. And since then, we've just been plugging away and just recorded the second album. That's in the can. Um, and yeah, and like, like I said, we've sent you our, our second single, The Way We Used To Be. Yeah, so it's, it's full steam ahead. We it's appreciate full steam ahead. Well, firstly, thanks for your service. We appreciate all you do. Armed Forces, past, okay. present and future. Uh, I do a ride on, I've not done it the last couple of years, it's not been well, but Ride to the Wall, which goes to the National oh, yeah. Arboretum in the Midlands. Don't know if you know of it. Yeah, but, yeah uh, I've been there, yeah. Yeah, I, I've even got a Ride to the Wall number plate on my motorcycle. So, uh, yeah, good, good stuff. But we appreciate everything you do, boys, girls, and everything in the forces. It's uh, it's amazing keeping us safe so i know it's not about the band but thank you for that got to say it so yeah yeah so what's your plans have you been gigging or anything any gigs going on yeah basically since um lockdown uh, the restrictions covid restrictions on live music were lifted we have played as many gigs as possible um it, so many have been cancelled obviously but we have just been anything we can do we've just been out there plugging away um we're playing on saturday um at the pier hat in manchester Right, uh, cool. So anything, anything at all, right? Just we promoted the first album, and uh, in lockdown, obviously, we were writing the uh, nucleus of the second album, uh, and we're just now we've got that done. We're just getting out promoting all these singles. Excellent. That's absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. Love it. Love it. Uh, so, what's your? Uh, you've got you've got the album out. Have you got other things in the pipeline? Any other projects you've got working on? What's for twenty twenty three? Anything? Got any well, believe it or not, <laughs> we've got quite a lot of what will probably become the third album, um, which pains our lead guitar player no end. He, you know, he, he really dedicates his time when, when we give him a song and he sprinkles his magic over the top of it. He, he, he puts his heart and soul into it. So he's got a lot of work heading his way as well. Um, <laughs> what what, we'll, what we're going to do is what we've done with the second album is we're going to start playing them live. And then that's when you find out, we start getting the reactions from the, from the, the crowd 
you know what's going to work and what's not going to work. And it yeah. kind of just gives you that time to flesh out the songs. So more gigs. We've got quite a lot of singles coming up um, and just carry on doing that, Add, adding more and more songs to the set and just, you know, throw some mud at the wall and see what sticks, really. Excellent. I love it. So what, what influenced you, you uh, the band, to get together? Do you know what I mean? Who's your influences, you know, that's got you wait, into the music? Wait. It's really eclectic, actually. Um, Tom, our lead guitar player, although we say we've had three lead guitar players, he's played on both albums. He's been with us the longest. Um, he's very much a straight up meat and potatoes rock guy, Guns N' Roses, ACDC, that type of thing. Uh, Ian, obviously uh, from Manchester, is into that whole Manchester scene, but also heavily influenced by the Beatles. Buzzing, man. Buzzing. Um, yeah, go on. <laughs> Mad Brit. Um, I, love, uh, I love everything. I'm, I'm Americana. Folk music, rock music. I'm just I listen to something different every day. Oh, cool. uh, and our drummer, our drummer, uh, he's into some he's got really eclectic stuff. Mike Old, Oldfield uh, to Queen, all sorts of stuff. And all those influences really come through uh, when the four of us are on stage or in the room together. Yeah, I think it. I think it really helps that when you have a a, a mix or you're into different stuff because you can take elements of from that that genre and bring it into some of your music and make it make it fresh make it a bit different can you yeah 100 yeah definitely. i think that's one of the things that we set out to do right from the very start we, the biggest gripe that we have with other bands is all the songs sound the same with some bands so we kind of said we we, we want to make sure there's the variation in the songs and the best feedback we've had and quite a lot of feedback from from the first album lucky 13 people have said all the tracks are so different. Yeah. So we're kind of like really, really over the moon with how, how that one landed. And I think people said the same with the second album. The few people who've heard the second album, Dirt to Dream, um, have pretty much said the same thing. It goes off in different directions. So yeah. hopefully that's our thing. Yeah, I, yeah, you're right. Because, I mean, some bands take it off on the ACDC. Every track sounds exactly the same. Do you know what I mean? It's, they're all the yeah. same. But I think it's nice to mash it up and, and mix things up and... Maybe you'll get to a point where you go, well, this is our vibe. These, this, you know, we'll, we'll smatter around with this other stuff that we quite like. Oh, yeah. John, there'll be something that really hits more than others. And then oh, yeah. that's probably the direct, your direction you're going. Uh, no, it's great. It's, it's great to have bands on and get, a, get to understand them a little bit more. Um, we sometimes ask this question on the other one, and you don't have to answer it. What band or bands or music would you put in Room 101? You don't have to answer it if you don't want, but I'll throw it out there because it's one that we, we slap in sometimes. Where do we start? <laughs> um, th there's a few bands that are out, out at the minute. Um, it was just like I, I, I won't. It's hard to pick one band, but the jingly jangly kind of pop sound yeah. of bands that are out there, um, and we're just kind of sick of hearing it. They all sound the same. They've all got the exact same kind of sound, and yeah, the, the songs are a bit, a bit weak, to be honest. Yeah, a lot, um, of, a lot of the commercial and uh, the commercial stuff. It's, yeah, it's yeah. Di diluted it's a little bit, isn't it? It's massively diluted. We, we, I mean, we're, we're a bit older than most fans starting out, and we, we've got a song coming up on the album called Young Man's Game, and I, I think that's kind of come out from uh, us basically saying it's, it's not just a young man's game, you know. We, we, we can still do it too, and we, we've, we've got the songs to back it up, so um, mm. stand by. We're, we're coming for you. And also some of the things we're writing about in these songs, Ian and I are the, the primary songwriters. Uh, we've got... The life experience, like we've got a song that's going to be on the third album. It's a piano-based song, and it's about going off to serve in a like a conflict. Um, we've got songs about all sort of aspects of the human condition, grief, um, relationship breakdowns, all everything you can imagine. So we're coming with that angle, with that life experience, where a lot of these little, as you say, manufactured jingly jangly bands. Um, I don't think there's much substance. Like, fair play to anybody that gets out and does it, but I don't think there's as much substance to it. And that's what's being sold is this is rock music, kids. And it's not, to us, it's not. There's there's so much more. Um, but the big wheel will come around again and uh, people will catch on to, to, to decent music. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're feeling and seeing, a real, that's why we created this, the show that we created. Um in the indie sound, in the you know, it's almost it's, it's people need to get on it because there's some one like yourselves, some amazing bands. We don't just play indie music on the show; we play independent artists, but predominantly we play indie, the indie, indie vibe, and uh, it, it's great because you know, yeah, the the the, the established bands are, are out there, but there's some good bands that need to be heard, and that's why we want to do this. And uh, you're right. Let's try something different, people. Go and, go, and, go and have a listen to some bands. Go to some gigs. Exactly. Yeah. Where's exactly. Your, where's your next gig? Have you, you, um, have you got anything planned? Yeah. 
Pierre yeah, Hart Saturday. on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll make no sense Saturday. when they show yeah, those Saturday, out. We're, <laughs> we're, yeah, we're playing the uh, Northern Quarter on Saturday, um, the Pierre Hart. And then the next one after that, we're up in uh, North Shields. It's um, kind of, uh, they play new bands. It's a place called Snow Moon. Uh, and then after that, we're hitting my hometown, Oldham, in September, 24th September at Show 5 Studios. So I've got, got a few lined up. Oh, that's brilliant. So you are getting out there. You are uh, pushing about. Oh, yeah. Do you, do, oh, yeah. Do, you, do you take an entourage with you? Have you got a band? Have you got people who come with you? Or, you know, do you have... Uh, we, yeah, got a few regulars who, who kind of come. Obviously, the North Shields gig. Um, in fact, no, we're quite lucky with the North Shields gig because there's a few people who would be in forces. You know, we know people all around the country. Um, and there's a couple of lads up there who said they're going to come. So... Hopefully um, they, they can bring bring a few mates up there as well. But yeah, we've got got a nice little crowd that follow, follows us around. Um, we played the Jackaranda in Liverpool uh, a few weeks ago. That was that was absolutely packed out as well. So no, it's going well. Excellent, excellent. So have you, have you been have you been going on doing your own gigs? Or are you supporting other bands? Who you bit of both. Bit of both, really, uh, Kirk. Uh, we've we've headlined uh, mainly in sort of Greater Manchester area, where the, the sort of grassroots following is. But we've got out there and like Jackaranda last week, we supported um, a band in there. Um, but we're probably in the best position because of our forces background. We've got mates scattered all over the yeah. country and they're all saying, crash at mine if you want to play in Cornwall, crash at mine if you're down in Kent. Oh, you don't man, know about, that is awesome. Scotland. Yeah, so and the a, world tour is being planned. And a mad, and a mad one as well. Oh, oh yes. So. Yeah, a few, few beers. I, I know, I know. So uh, you need to go and do a gig in Iraq, don't you, for, for the guy? Well, can't you get in on, you know what I mean, go on to one of the bet. You need to get someone on an army basis, don't you, and do some gigs for the, for the lads that are out wherever yeah, they're out at yeah. the minute. So, definitely. Cool, cool. So what, what I'd, well, there's a couple of things here because we've got two two sort of top topics going on. What advice would you give anyone that's thinking, do you know what, I'm going to go in the army? Best thing I ever did, yeah. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Uh, it teaches you a lot and gets you out, doesn't it? And uh, obviously, you, you're you're more mature than some of the younger kids out there. Uh, what advice? Is there any advice? Pills of wisdom that you would give the, to them? Reference being in the forces. No, 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 no. This is for your band now. This is going back onto the music now. So uh, you know, there's some just we, we we're interviewing some young bands like 16, 17, 19, 20, Not got the same world experience. So, is there any advice you'd give to them? I would say just just do it, just try it. If you start on the end of your bed playing your guitar and you think, you know, can, can I record an album? Can I get people together? Just do it. Put yourself out there. You don't know what works until you try it live. Um, but the biggest thing um, is find motivated people. Um, if you can't do it without motivated people. You know, me, me and John got the forces kind of background, um, and that that gives us a, gives us a bit of drive. But it's not just forces. I mean, the, the other two lads we've got, Tom and Tom. Such driven guys, really driven guys. And when, when you find people like that, you, you can make it. If, if people haven't got that drive to put the band first and put in the, put in the graph, put in the hours, then you're going to struggle. So finding the right people first and foremost, and then just putting yourself out there and giving it a go. Best thing you'll ever do. I think yeah. that, that's brilliant yeah. advice. That applies to anything. Because if you go, oh, Fred, yeah. Fred's my mate, but he's a bit of a, of a flaky, but he's my mate, come on. You're right, you, I'll drag you down. But that's if it. you're all pushing in the same direction and you're hungry for it, then uh, everyone's pushing to the, in the same direction, aren't they? Absolutely, and, like, absolutely. It, it, should, it should be fun. If, if it's a stressful thing, yeah, something's wrong. And if all the guys are on the same page, and you've got a bit of talent, isn't, the world's your oyster. Of course, you can push ahead and do it. But we, we've experienced that with guys that, not some of them through no fault of their own, they just couldn't commit family commitments or whatever, or geography. But uh, yeah, if you've got four guys like we have in the same room who are driven, and we've got that, talent yeah and the songs you can do it definitely like i say anything you do needs to be fun because as soon as you hit a hurdle then it all falls apart doesn't it do you know what i mean if you've if you're not getting along or you're not if there's a bit of a chink then as soon as something hits you you're gonna you just, that's when the arguments start don't they and you all fall out yeah. then. so uh, absolutely and then someone always gets upset don't they starts crying sitting in the corner rocking <laughs> so. usually me <laughs> oh it's absolutely brilliant uh yeah so like i said we, we do this show we do this show uh to promote emerging artists like yourselves and uh get 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 to know you a little bit more what we do ask uh, bands to do is drop do us a drop so can you could you do us a favor can a pair of you do this is gallagher's green you're listening to dougie stone radio and we'll stick it on the station and on the show sure 
Do you, want, do you want to go first, Ian, or would we do it together? What way are we going to do this? Yeah, I'll go first if you want, mate. So I'm Ian from Gallagher's Green, and this is Dougie Stone Radio. Hi, I'm John from Gallagher's Green, and this is Dougie Stone Radio. Hey, brilliant. We got two jingles for the price of one. That's awesome. <laughs> awesome. Oh, we never mentioned the green room. What was it? Peroni. Was you on the Peroni in the green room? That's my favourite, yeah. It's a bit early. Well, the previous band that we interviewed, what he'd, uh, they, we had to put them in the champagne cellar and they wanted some what? orange boom uh, lager as well as ambient lime. Very specific. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, Divas. Fancy. Divas. We need, we need to up our game. They definitely play Stratocasters. <laughs> so, so be, before before we go, another question, I think. if Because that's how the green room started. The green room has started and it's on every show and we always do it with the band and it's become a bit of a thing. So... Um, what would your riders be? You know, say someone wanted to book you, the O2 or whatever, down in London, and you go, and you go, well, what's your, what's your riders? What would they be? What would you have in the room? Anything. What, what would you go for? Crazy. Crazy the better, I think. I'm a, I'm a man of simple pleasures, me, yeah. yeah. A big box of Peroni and some cheese and onion crisps. Sorry. <laughs> man. Yeah, and the cheese, the cheese and onion crisps have to be specifically Northern Irish tato. <laughs> <laughs> No walkers or any of that nonsense. And and None of that fancy business. And a box of Gallag and a, and twenty Gallagher greens. <laughs> sold up. Just leave them on the yeah. table. No one can smoke them. Can you smart smoke them in a venue? <laughs> but I, I'm glad we've asked you that because if we do a festival, we'll invite you because you're going to be cheap to to look after. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're easy. Apart from the Chris, we might have to get someone to fly over and fly, and fly us some in. But we've got friends in Ireland, so we'll be all we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Well, what we're going to do now? We're going to let you get on with your day. Um, and I'm going to spin the track that you gave us an exclusive before release on the 26th of August when I can find the blooming thing. Oh, what have I done with that? I had it there a minute ago. Well, well, this song, Kirk, this, um, yeah, this that's was actually it. written. Pad it, pad it out, pad it out, go on. Uh, this, this was actually written uh, the day before we went into the studio for the first album. Um, <laughs> yeah, John came wandering down the stairs at 8 o'clock on a Sunday morning playing what, what became the start of the song, saying, oh, I think I've got something here. Um, and he was actually singing it. Uh, we, we left a couple a camera rolling in the studio, for like a little you know, behind-the-scenes thing. Yeah. And there's a, bit of footage, there's a bit of footage of him on day one of recording the first album, just, just walking around singing it. Obviously, he couldn't make it onto the first album. We had to build it as a full band. But we've been playing that song now for the last two years. So it's, if you've been watching us live, wow. uh, you will have heard it. And I finally got it recorded in the can. Uh, and it's our next single. Yeah, it's out on the twenty sixth of August on all streaming platforms. Oh, that is that is awesome. I did have it there a second. I've got to find it again now. What have I done with that? I just <laughs> had it in front of me. I've got. I've well, you can't see my screen, but I've got that many pages open. Oh, here we go. Right. Well, thanks for joining us. Good luck with everything you're doing. Say hello to the rest of the band. It's been great to chat with you. You've been easy to talk to. You've been entertaining, which is just what we want. Uh, this Brilliant. is Gallagher's Gallagher's Green. And this Gallagher's is, Green. Gallagher's really? Green, yeah. I'm a dog. A dog. <laughs> yes, that's. And their track, The Way We Used to Be, gave us an exclusive. Thanks very much, guys. This has been Dougie Stone Radio. We'll speak to you soon. Another introducing people. Turn this right up. I've been thinking about those times Those times when it was only you and me I've been thinking about our lives The way we were, the way we used to be The way we used to be I've been dreaming about those eyes Those eyes that only saw the
about those lies Those lies that brought the end of you and me I've been thinking a lot this time The way we were, the way we used to be 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 I'll get it right down from the Charles Motorbike Show, and you are listening to Dougie's Atomic Dustbin. Oh, my God. So, Sam, recording this, that track has not been released. World exclusive. Thanks very much. Weren't they great? Absolutely brilliant. Come and join us on Dougie Stone Radio. Just say, Alexa, open internet radio. Go to DougieStoneRadio.com. Press the player or download the apps. Follow us on Twitter at Dougie Stone Radio. And if we think you're good enough, we'll get you on the show. We'll get you on for an interview. And I really, really enjoyed that. Until next time, Kirk out, people. Kirk out. I'm going for a lie down now.